Hey there, gang. So I thought I'd do this as a quick follow-up to my long follow-up yesterday. Yeah, I know it was like 25 minutes long, but I wanted to go over all these pedals because in case anybody was interested, I bought a lot of new stuff. And sometimes I think it's better to get someone's personal experience playing it in a, on a professional level than just someone who's going through features in a demo where they're trying to sell it to you. That's just me. Um, I think what I will do, and this might be useful to some of you, is I'm going to make short little videos doing some improvs, just one pedal at a time. Now, I'll be going through the entire board, but I'll be featuring one pedal for like five minutes and just going through and playing and tweaking some of those. I think I'll do those next week before I'm unable to do any more recording in my studio at all, even with my minimal setup when everything's packed up. Um, so I think that will be really useful. But I also wanted to say in this short video that one of the reasons I set this board up, and by no means it's the only, you know, I have like five or six boards, but if I'm going to be doing it on a tabletop and um, reacting in a very tactile way, hands-on, then this works. And I set it up this way specifically so that it is modular. Now you'll see a picture on the screen. This is just one of the boards. I mean, they're all semi-related because there are a few pedals that don't move from the setup. But what I mean when I say modular is after the glue-glue flancher delay, that spot is always mobile. I mean, in the fact that you could put anything there. And as you saw from some of the videos, I think in each video, I put a different pedal there. Also, the spot before the flancher 9 modulation unit, that's a spot that's, you know, able to put anything you want there. So I made that kind of, you know, mobile. <laughs> and so that's open. Another way to keep it open is the Mercury 7 by Maris. It takes up a, you know more space than a single footprint. Well, for instance, when I get to London or wherever I'm going, um, I left my um, Chase Bliss Habit in London, as well as a few other pedals on another pedal board there. I also have instruments there, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, and I might put the Habit after the flancher delay. And in that case, it might be useful to... You know, I could leave the Mercury 7 reverb after that, or I could put the afterneath after that, or I could put the afterneath before the habit, or I could put the habit and something else. And then if I swapped out the Mercury 7 for another pedal, a single footprint pedal, I've got more room on the board. I also think that the Earthquaker Devices DBA Time Shadows, which I love, I love this new version, and it's so funny to me that there were people like the day before they re-released it, and I didn't know it was coming. I don't know if anybody did. People were like trying to sell the V1 for like 600 bucks or more. Cracks me up. Well, that single footprint pedal, that can be swapped out for something um, also, I love the, I, I love all Ranger effects. David Ranger and I get along really well. I visited his shop in London and great crew. Love everything he does. But there's in a sense, like the, the drone Ranger, the mini drone Ranger I have is fantastic, but it can sort of be overwhelming. I've got it set up so that it's, just beneath the, you know, my dry signal. However, if you took that out and you put a single footprint in the Mercury 7 slot, you'd have enough room for two more pedals. You see where I'm going with this. This is set up purposely, purposely to do modular type 
situations and pop things. Now, what are those things? Well, you know, I really like the, I really, really like the Dweller by Old Blood Noise. I also love that the, the expression control is super fantastic. So I love to have the, the, the option of putting that in there. There's something called the Fiddle Eater by Intensive Care Effects. Now that one's a little bigger than a single footprint. So it's a little hard to drop in. But if the Mercury 7 wasn't there and there was more room on the bottom row, that would be a possibility. There's also, you know, I have the uh, Coffee Petals London Fog Delay, which I use mainly in reverse or reverse end forward setting. Don't really need it all the time if I've got the flancher, but the flancher doesn't really do reverse. So these are all considerations. I have a handful of pedals. Some of them are new that are easily swappable into this setup, which is why I've done this. And I gotta say, I'm, 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 I'm really digging, you know, having the hands-on tactile approach. So I think I'm gonna do some more stuff. What I may do if I get the chance before I leave, because there's some other stuff that I haven't featured yet, like the, um, the uh, wrought iron effects and leather, I think it's called wrought iron effects and Le leather Numenorean, which is their phaser vibe thing. And I have the project 941 modulator, which is more their vibe thing. I might put the two of them together on a board with delay and reverb just so you could hear those things going and maybe put the flancher delay re uh, delay in there. I'm not sure, but I might mix it up a little bit, but it won't be. It'll be a new board and it'll just be sh to show you some effects you haven't seen yet. All right. So that's it. I uh, don't want to make this too long, but I wanted to just go over some of those things. And like I said, I will do short little five minute videos next week where I'm just featuring each new pedal, like, you know, Chase Bliss Onward for five minutes, uh, the Time Shadows for five minutes, the Electronic Audio Experiments, Prismatic Wall for five minutes, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Good idea. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Hope you had a good holiday. Catch you later.